India, around 10,000 people are at risk of a potential imminent volcanic eruption due to the emergence of a magma dike into presumably shallow depths between the coordinates marked on the screen. This intrusion appears to have been underway since at least September 27, 2024, and in the time since has not only generated five magnitude 4 range earthquakes, but also allegedly created new geysers and hot springs, formed large cracks in the ground, and damaged a nearby railroad due to the amount of ground displacement which has already occurred. Part of this lack of coverage by major news outlets or discussions by the government of Ethiopia likely relates to other significant problems currently ongoing in the country. Nevertheless, I am saying this to potentially save lives. While I do not have much to go off of since I am not physically in Ethiopia or have any people there, sadly insert data seems to suggest that between a 14.2 and 21 km long dike of magma has developed since September 27th, with three possible rough outlines of the magma dike marked on the screen. This dike location could be inaccurate by as much as 2 km, so take their location with a grain of salt. While I do not have the power or authority to order evacuations, I would personally recommend that everyone in a 15 km radius between these two sets of coordinates and the line between them immediately evacuate. Yes, I could be wrong here, but I simply cannot risk the chance that I am right, hence why I am posting this video. Before I even wrote this script, I reached out to the Ethiopian Embassy in the United States, the US Geological Survey, and the Ethiopian government telling them of my findings. I do not believe the current intrusion to be related to the nearby Fentil or Dauphin volcanoes, although, due to the theoretically possible link with these systems, I have personally marked them at an alert level of yellow, when in reality their official alert levels are still green. Instead, I interpret the ongoing intrusion of magma, which I must stress we don't know the current volume or depth of, appears to be related to the general East African Rift. The East African Rift is a 25 million year old zone where through four segments the Nubian Plate is separating from the Somali Plate at a rate of 5 to 7 millimeters a year. In other words, after 1 million years, these regions will have spread apart by 6 kilometers or 3.73 miles. However, this is not occurring along a singular line, but rather a zone of weakness known as a rift valley which contains numerous smaller rifts which have left behind scars in the landscape. Due to how thin the crust is here, it allows for hot material in the mantle to intrude into it through paths of least resistance, creating magmatic dike intrusions which occasionally reach the surface and erupt, forming a chain of volcanoes. This zone contains approximately 90 such active or potentially active volcanoes, among which in the eastern segment, two, Erta Ale and Old Yenilingai are currently erupting. Most of these are basaltic, producing small to medium sized fissure eruptions reminiscent of Iceland's Reckonas volcano, and yet, a few systems such as Fentil are largely rhyolitic, with the capability for some of the planet's largest explosive eruptions involving widespread ashfall and pyroclastic flows. Regarding the current intrusion, I do not like the possible scenario that it could be rhyolitic. The area north of Fentil has seen multiple similar intrusions occur during the last 50 years, like in 1981, which also generated surface cracks, 1989 and 2015, but by far the current intrusion is the strongest and longest among them. And, while three prior dikes failed to reach the surface and produce an eruption, the 2015 dike was studied in detail and found the following. The dike has a viscosity consistent with rhyolite magma, specifically at 5 to 8 kilometers depth. While most magmatic intrusions fail to reach the surface, meaning that this is the most likely outcome given the current situation, this is still quite concerning. Please, share this video wide so the people and government of Ethiopia can learn about and monitor this development. Stay safe everyone.